All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fun zone, the zone where we learn all kinds of stuff about crazy ways that people are making money online. And this isn't just your run of the mill, how to make money on Pinterest kind of video that you're gonna see rehashed everywhere. This is full stuff from someone who's been doing this for over 23 years. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to dive in and I'm going to show you a secret little Pinterest hack that I have been going crazy about over the last about 48 hours or so. And there's lots of good stuff here. So we're gonna show you how this whole thing works. In this training, I'm also gonna go through my keyword list that I've been going through for the last 48 hours, diving through this stuff. By the time you get this keyword list, it's gonna have over a thousand crazy keywords that you can use on Pinterest to make money. Now, warning. This is not what other people are teaching. This is real world stuff that you can actually use to start making this stuff work and start getting traffic from Pinterest and making lots of money. This training is going to connect a lot of dots that you might not have had connected before. So if you're excited, smash that like button. We're gonna dive right in. Now it's important to note that before we dive in, Patrick over here wants to make money on Pinterest, right? And he's like, okay, I wanna make money on Pinterest, what am I gonna do? Well, first and foremost, what Patrick needs to realize is that Pinterest is a traffic method, okay? You don't just make money on Pinterest, you use Pinterest to get traffic. This is very important because if you look at it the right way, this could start to change things for you in a really, really cool way. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna break this down and show you the secret, well, there's supposed to be a pin there or a Pinterest. Apparently I spelled it wrong or the spell checker said interest, but it's actually a Pinterest one. Uh, we're gonna show you the secret Pinterest money loophole that's very, very, very important. Now, um, if you want a copy of this keyword report, when I get it to a thousand keywords, we're gonna load it up on theprofitscoop.com. And if you guys aren't aware of theprofitscoop.com, it's where I put a bunch of my tools and free stuff that you guys can use all the time. Now, I highly recommend that when you get to Profit Scoop, click the big button and put your name and email in. That way I can email you the report when it's ready because otherwise, if you're like me, you'll probably forget that it's there. So we gotta look at this and we gotta understand exactly what's going on to understand how this loophole works. Now, first of all, I wanna break down what the other people are teaching. Most people will say, in order to make money with Pinterest, you're gonna make pins, drive traffic to offers, okay? So that's the gist of it. The idea is that you're gonna make a whole bunch of pins. All right, let's switch screens here. The idea here is that you're gonna make a whole bunch of pins, okay? And hopefully these pins are about the same niche, right? You don't wanna go out there and make a Pinterest and just have like everything, right? You wanna have something that is actually uh, gonna work in a real world way for you, okay? So it's very important to look at that, all right? We need to have niche specific pins, okay? Niche specific pins, I had to fix the angle here, right? So niche specific pins is what we're looking at. And what we wanna do, let's say you are doing like calculators, okay? And you have pins about mortgage calculators, or maybe you're doing like crazy things I bought on Amazon, and you're having pins about crazy things you bought on Amazon, or maybe you're doing like backyard ideas or remodel ideas or whatever it is, right? It's very important to look at this, or maybe you're even doing like gardening ideas or plants or whatever it is, okay? This is very, very important we need to keep in mind that this is how all this stuff works. Now, most people are gonna say, well, you go out there, you make pins, and then once you make the pins, what you're going to do is you're gonna have the pin and it's going to drive the traffic to your offers. So you would say, okay, I got all my pins. This one's about how to plant flowers, how to plant weeds, how to plant bananas or whatever, okay? And you're gonna go through and you're gonna drive that traffic to either a website or an offer directly. Now, the cool thing about Pinterest is if you don't wanna have a website, you don't need a website, you can take that traffic and put them wherever you want, all right? Now, there are downsides to just putting the traffic wherever you want. You might wanna put it to an actual website, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. 
So the idea here is make pins, drive traffic to offers, and then the idea is, okay, well maybe over time you're going to build a following on Pinterest that's interested in, in gardens. Now building a, a following on Pinterest is actually a lot harder than it seems to be because most people are just there looking at images. I mean, some people follow stuff, some people don't, um, and we have to look at it because what we're gonna do here in this training is we are going to talk about how to utilize search traffic to drive this, okay? Because here's the deal. If you wanna go on Pinterest and get the, the traffic that's already on Pinterest, you're gonna be fighting with all the other stuff, you're gonna be in all the other competition, and it's gonna be very difficult to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a different approach, that's where the secret Pinterest money hack is going to come in, and that's where it's gonna work. So we are gonna focus on search-based stuff. What we care about isn't so much what people are searching for on Pinterest, we care about what people are searching on on Google. This is important. Make a note. We're going to get back to this in just a minute. Now, when we're looking at this here, again, make pins, drive traffic to offers, maybe build a following and do the influencer scene, and maybe one day when you're happy and you got a bunch of followers for your garden site, maybe, you know, some gardening uh, weed killer is going to come up and be like, hey, you know what, we got this weed uh, roundup whatever stuff and uh, we want to advertise on, on your Pinterest. That can happen. Um, that would be falling under creating a sponsored content. Now, another thing I like, which is cool, is number five, which is shoppable pins. That's cool. You can actually have a shoppable pin where people can click and buy things and stuff like that. There's also method number six, a creator fund for those that are creating stuff. It's kind of small, but you know, hey, it adds to the pile, which is good. And then number seven, there is video content on Pinterest as well. So we need to look at this and we need to understand at the whole what's going on on Pinterest. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to dive into the profit hack. How many of you guys right now, you're ready for the profit hack. You're like, okay, Marcus, yeah, I could go to any website or blog and figure out the seven ways to make money on Pinterest. It's not that hard to do. In fact, in preparation for this video, I paid someone $200 to make notes and they were, they were terrible. That, that's what I got from the notes, right? It was like, okay, it wasn't usable. Why wasn't it usable? Because it's the run of the mill stuff that everyone else is doing. What we need to do is we need to look at this different because my guess is you're out there, you wanna make money on Pinterest, but you don't know where to go or what to do or what niche or anything like that. You just probably heard that there's some guy making $500 a day on Pinterest, or there's some guy making this or whatever it is, and you want a piece of the action. You're like, hey man, if someone's making money on Pinterest, might as well be me, so what do I do? All right, I'm not like the gardener extraordinaire. I'm not some, you know, image creator meme guy. So what am I gonna do? How am I gonna make this work in a real world way? How am I gonna go out there and make money on Pinterest even if I don't know what I'm doing. If that's you, smash that like button. Let's talk about this. Let's get to the nitty gritty because I think this can be done in a real world way in a very easy way. Now, what's gonna happen here? And it's very important, okay? There's gonna be a difference between people who look at markets and people that look at niches, okay? Markets versus niches. What's the difference between a market versus a niche? Well, gardening would be a market. Okay, cool. Raised bed gardening plans, that's a niche. Okay, how many of you guys get it? Smash that like button if you get it and you understand exactly what's going on. Okay, you're like, okay, I get it, yeah. Market equals gardening. Niche equals raised bed gardening plans. Okay, there you go, that's the difference. That's why this keyword report that I'm gonna give you over here, there it is, over there, there it is, it's that way, right? There you go, the camera reverses things, also adds some pounds or something, I don't know what it does, but at any rate, this is the keyword list you're gonna get, and that's why this is so important. Now, what we need to understand here, very important, okay? What we need to understand is that traffic, and Patrick's gonna tell you this here, traffic, equals money, okay? 
Why does Facebook have bazillions of dollars? Because they have traffic. That's the only reason. Why do other sites make gazillions? Why does Pinterest make so much money? Traffic, that's the only reason. There is no other value other than people's eyeballs watching a screen. That's the value, that's it. Now, I will tell you, the value does change. We talk about this all the time where the value actually changes, okay? So someone looking up, you know, um, how to lose weight is worth more money than someone looking up calories in a burrito, okay? Very important. So we gotta look at that, we gotta understand it. Now, what we're gonna do to find these, because if you're out there, you're like, Marcus, I just want to make money on Pinterest. That's what I wanna do. And I don't care how I do it, as long as it's ethical, as long as it's good, I can do the work, but that's what I want to do. If that's you, type Pinterest in the box, let me know, and we are going to show you how this works because there is a way to find niches that are worth money that have no competition or low competition that are super easy to make money in and also make content for. How many of you guys are excited about that? I need to see that like button being pushed a bunch of times because we're gonna show you something that other marketers don't talk about. I know, I've been talking about it for 23 years. One marketer talked about it because he got the idea from me and then I haven't heard other people talk about it much. I haven't heard from that guy since like 2003. But what we're talking about here is the fact that most people are gonna to go to their keyword tool. Okay, let me open up a, a keyword tool here. Okay, and they are going to type something in I'm just going to do it on this other screen and then I'll show you guys just so I make sure it's clean. Okay, so we're going to go and type in like most people are going to do this. Okay, they're going to go to their keyword tool. My favorite is Ahrefs. They're going to type something in like weight loss. They're going to see what are we going to do? It's 92. It's super hard. This is too competitive for the average person. It's too competitive for me and I've been doing this 23 years. So if you're like, oh, well, you know, maybe Marcus doesn't know what he's doing. I've been doing this a while. I don't rank for weight loss. I'll probably never rank for weight loss, but there is a better way because the guy ranking for weight loss, I mean, you do the math at three, four, five dollars a click times 150,000 clicks a month. Well, you know, you got some serious money there. Now, that's not to say that people like me and you can't do this and make a good living. Okay, if this is worth a dollar a click, 50 cents a click, $3 a click, all I would need to do if I want to make $3,000 a month is get, you know, 3,000, 6,000 clicks. If I make $3, all I got to do is get 1,000 clicks. Very important. Okay, we're going we're gonna to touch on this in just a minute. But, Marcus, it's very difficult. The competition is super hard. What gives? How am I going to do this? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is where we are going to use what I call a trigger word list. Now, a trigger word list is a list of terms that has nothing to do with anything. All right, I got plan. Okay, what kind of plan do people want? I don't know, they could want to plan a wedding. They could want to, uh, they could be looking up any kind of plan. Workout, could be anything. It might not be weight loss. It might be running. It might be people who want muscles. All right, I had a muscle. I don't know where it went. I need to work out again. And uh, there you go. Uh, day, we don't know what kind of days, people, chart, template, budget. What we're gonna do is we're going to type these into our keyword tool. Now, when you do this, all right, so I have plan, and over here I have weight loss. Weight loss, super hard, super competitive. Let me make sure this is clean again, and then we'll bring it back over. Don't know what kind of workouts people are doing, so gotta be careful, always gotta be careful here. Okay, now, when we type in this here, we can see it's getting a little less difficult. What to eat before a workout. Okay, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Right, I go, what to eat before a workout. Now it's dropping like flies. What to eat before and after a workout. What to eat before, okay, what should I eat? What dinner should I eat? All kinds of stuff. How many of you guys are like, okay, I'm starting to see it. I'm starting to see that the competition is dropping like flies, and I could actually go out there and I could do uh, what to eat for a workout, and I could find all kinds of different things. What to eat before a morning workout, 500, uh, 1,300 searches a month. 
what to eat before a workout in the morning, what to eat right before a workout, what is good to eat before. And we see that the competition is starting to get what to eat before a HIIT workout, what to eat before workout for energy. All right, now we're getting somewhere. And here's the cool thing, ladies and gentlemen. The cool thing is if you're doing this, remember how I said Pinterest is a traffic method. Pinterest is a traffic method. Now, Pinterest is also a powerhouse. He's got muscles in the SEO industry, right? He ranks for all kinds of stuff, which means we can rank for keywords on Pinterest that we probably couldn't rank on a new blog. Everyone following me so far? Hey guys, oh, wait a minute. This is starting to make lots of sense. Now, what we have to do here, it gets even deeper. So what we're gonna do here is we can take a look and I can say, okay, great. What to eat before a workout to lose weight? Excellent. All I would have to do is make a pin. And I'm like, here are nine foods to avoid or to eat. I can do either avoid or eat. And I could be like, hey, if you eat the old banana before the workout, you are going to lose weight or those are good things, right? Does that make sense to everyone? Our content's easy, it writes itself. There you go, boom. And then all we're gonna do is post that on Pinterest like this over here. Where's our button? There it is, right? So we post it here, right, like this. And we're like, boom, there we go, right? There's my, it would say uh, nine things to eat before your workout to lose weight, great. Then you would have a link here, a link here, and a link here, okay? And the idea is to go through and say, wait a minute, now I can make this work in a really simple way. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is not all. There's actually more. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to look even deeper, okay? Because we can use these low comp keywords to rank for all kinds of things using our Pinterest. Or we could let Pinterest do the work of telling us what they already rank for and we could just piggyback on what's already working. How many of you guys are like, wait, yeah, I wanna learn that. I like that idea because now they're just gonna show me what they rank for and I just get in front of them, put some good content up, point them to some good ethical affiliate offers and then boom, I'm ready to go, okay? this is where the rubber beats the road. And this is where your keyword report is going to come in handy. Okay, so this keyword report, actually, you're gonna see over here, there's like a ranking chart or something. Let's see where it's at. Uh, well, it usually has one. I think it's volume, difficulty. Okay, the, the one I give you guys will have, actually have the ranking. Um, but this one, these are actually words that Pinterest ranks for. Wait a minute. So Pinterest already, right? Like if I go over there and I'm like, okay, uh, good morning quotes. Okay, again, let's make sure it's clean. So I'll go to this other search engine here and we got uh, good morning quotes. Okay, and what you're gonna see here is that for good morning quotes, Good morning quotes, we got all kinds of images here. And then down here, we actually have Pinterest. Interesting, okay? So this keyword list is words that Pinterest ranks for. Now, it's not just like, let me type in Pinterest and let me get the words because there's literally four bazillion words that they rank for. What this is, is it's words that I use the trigger words for to find things that I know will actually work and actually make money, okay? Because I don't wanna just rank for Winnie the Pooh quotes if I don't have something to sell or a way to make money. I don't wanna just rank for some of these random terms. And that's why I went through and I looked at these keywords and I was like, okay, here's some of the words here. And I broke it down. I was like, okay, cool. So I did verses. This was an interesting one. I love this trigger word because now I'm like, okay, what can I do with the word versus, or template, or budget, or printable? Now, you can use these with the Pinterest method, you could use them without the Pinterest method, and you can go to theprofitscoop.com and download the list, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, we also have cost, examples, remodel, and all kinds of different things that you can use. Checklist, sayings, inspiration, email, sample. What we wanna do is we want to look at this with the idea of what are we gonna do? What's our end game, right? And our end game is gonna be based on the keyword and based on what they're searching for. Very important. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna be like, okay, we got our trigger word list. We're gonna put them in. And what I do is I'll go here and I'll type in pinterest.com and then I'm gonna use keyword contains and that's where I'll put my trigger word, right? So I could do something like maybe I'll do keyword contains and we get one of our trigger words, sample. Okay, cool. Keyword contains and then we'll do sample and then let's just, I'm gonna make sure it's clean again. We'll do sample, we'll hit apply and then on that list, it's going to load. It's still loading. It's still, lo I don't know, it's taking its, it's, taking its time. Uh, but what you're going to notice here is that on our list of keywords right here, I have 4.3 million visitors a month. Okay, so now we got these isolated. We're like, okay, wait a minute, check this out. How are we going to make money, old buddy Marcus? Well, bathroom remodel. Okay, I could go over to Offer Vault or whatever, I can do ClickBank, Offer Vault, whatever, and I can do remodel, right, like this, and I can see there's a guy willing to pay $100 for a bathroom, for a lead for bathroom remodel. There you go, right there, it's right there. Okay, so all I would have to do is take them from my pin, lead them to a site that has that offer, and boom, I'm ready to go. And you can see here that when we isolate these, I'm like, okay, check it out. 50,000 keywords that Pinterest ranks for with the word sample. So all I gotta do is go and say, what am I going to want to rank for? What has enough traffic and what can I use? Sample, letter of resignation sample. I could lead those people into new jobs or careers or whatever. Um, we could do short cover letter sample. Uh, resignation letter, resume. Resumes are huge, those work really, really well. And we can go through and be like, okay, there's lots of different things that will work. Letter of intent sample, those people are probably buying a house or something. And we go through and we're like, okay, this is looking pretty good. This is something that will work, okay? And what we're gonna do, again, we're gonna take and be like, okay, so now all I need to do is go out there and be like, okay, what am I gonna do? I'll go and, and maybe talk about like, maybe I'll make 50 pins about uh, bathroom remodel fails or, or uh, things that make it cost more or ideas or whatever it is, right? Does that make sense? Everyone getting it? Smash that like button if you're getting it. Because I want you to understand, okay, what we need to do is we need to think about at the end of the day, what do these people want and what are we gonna get them to? Uh, another one was dinner ideas. Um, we got chili recipe, which is funny. I actually uh, had a chili recipe site and back in, I think, 2011. Um, and I think I made like, I don't know, like 60 bucks a day on it or something. It wasn't much, but it was, it was a cool site. Uh, Mother's Day, I actually made money with a Mother's Day site as well. Uh, front yard landscaping, that would be a good one um, to lead to the affiliate offers for, you know, landscaping quotes, uh, gardening quotes, uh, remodel quotes, stuff like that, really simple. Uh, chili recipe, we'd lead them to maybe like a chili uh, website that has a recipe or maybe even uh, a recipe toolbar or maybe a grocery store coupon or something that's going to pay us. And, and what you'll see is that these places have lots of offers like that, right? So if we do um, Offer Vault, where'd our Offer Vault go? And there's even like uh, PLR stuff for chili. Uh, but we could go through and do like, okay, uh, maybe we're gonna do, um, what was the one I was looking at? Landscaping, uh, coupons. Coupons is a good one. Um, let's see if we have, I think it was Capital, Capital One coupon. Yeah, so like the Capital One coupon extension, which is actually free for people, pays me uh, $8 a lead. So they download it and I get eight bucks, which is pretty darn cool. Right, so like, there you go. You're like, okay, here, I'm gonna make a recipe site with the idea of getting people over to um, this tool that'll 
they'll download it and they'll be able to use it for recipes. Or if I do stuff like, uh, let's do lawn, right? Lawn care, um, remodeling, stuff like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep it very tight knit. We're gonna build our, um, our Pinterest site all around the keywords that we want. And just to show you how big this is, right? You say, well, Marcus, can Pinterest work for something like, you know, uh, Redbubble or Teespring or print on demand? Yeah, it actually can. You can see here. Now again, check out the, the copyright and stuff. I don't know much about Roblox, but these are people looking for Roblox shirt templates. They literally want a Roblox shirt or even the Brandon shirt. People want all kinds of Brandon shirts, right? I don't know what you could do with a Brandon shirt, but you know, I don't know. But you go through and you're like, okay, now I could go through and I could make all these templates about the shirts and, and promote it. So like if you're out there and you're like, well, Marcus, this is method number 952 that I've tried for how to make money online. What you got to do is you got to start to listen to your old buddy Marcus because all of this stuff intertwines. Everyone goes out there like, Marcus, I want to make money on Pinterest. And I'm like, you know what? I'm kind of like old King Solomon, only I don't have 700 wives and I'm not as rich as Solomon. That guy had more money than everyone. But um, old Solomon used to say, there's nothing new under the sun. And guess what? There's nothing new under the sun. Same thing. What are you doing Pinterest? People are looking at pictures, pinning pictures. It's a traffic method. That's all it is, is a traffic method. Now you can monetize and do all kinds of stuff, but it's a traffic method. That's all it is. And once you learn that, you're like, oh, okay. So now that I know the traffic method, I utilize what's working already and, and I get the traffic and I put them to things that make me money. We got Mother's Day quotes. Now you say, well, Marcus, how am I gonna make money with Mother's Day quotes? Well, you say, hey, you know, you're thinking about sending your mom a quote, you should probably be a good kid or whatever and send her some flowers. Here, click here to send her flowers, right? You'll get some people that'll send her flowers. That's how it's gonna work, okay? Very important. And we start to look at this and we're like, okay, what about sociopath versus psychopath? Well, there's lots of people that are looking up that stuff and, you know, they might wanna learn about it, books and different stuff like that. We got a resignation letter. They're gonna look for new jobs, small kitchen ideas. That's gonna point to um, the affiliate offers about, uh, what was it? Something, right? Um, the remodel. We got keto diet plan, all right? Pin you're telling me Pinterest actually ranks for keto, keto diet plan? Yes, it does. Ab workouts, fire pit ideas, right? Ab workouts, uh, I, I had an ab site years ago made like 168 bucks a day on it. Um, it was like some kind of ab workout machine and uh, it was a good one, I sold it to a student. Uh, fire pit ideas, YouTube banner templates. There's people who are YouTubers and social media people, you can help them out, here's your template. By the way, if you want 10 other templates, go over to my website to download them. Pretty simple. Uh, kitchen remodel, here's one looking for chow mein versus lo mein. For some reason, Pinterest ranks for that we can get the traffic and we can say, hey, you know what, here's uh, food in your area or, or whatever it is. Osama says, how long does it take for Pinterest posts to be indexed and ranked in Google? Well, it depends on what you do. I can get mine indexed instantly if I point something at it. And again, ladies and gentlemen, this is why y'all need to binge watch my videos and watch them over and over and over again and watch a bunch of them because a lot of these methods fit together. Right, so like if I go out there and I'm like, okay, well, I got a pin, I could put a press release to a pin. Wait, what, Marcus, mind blown. Yes, you could press release to a pin, it'll shoot it um, all over the place, and there you go. And put it up on Google and all kinds of stuff. But again, it's gonna come down to the keyword that you want, and obviously it needs to be a good press release, it needs to be a good pin. We need to make good content, we need to do stuff that is worthy of being shown, right? We gotta make good, good stuff. That's what's gonna make this work. Otherwise, you're just gonna use these methods and you're gonna fizzle out super quick and you'll be like, oh, well, you know, that worked for like a week. Seen it a million times. I got friends who come to me that I taught the business to and they're like, I'm broke now. I'm like, well, why'd, you let, why'd you do a fizzle out thing? We're in this for the long haul. Uh, someone says, can this work for Halloween? Oh, it'd be perfect for Halloween, right? You go through and you're like, okay, well, what if I go to the keyword tool and I do Pinterest and then I type in Halloween? 
right? There you go. And, and I'm going to make sure this is clean because some Halloween outfits are a little on the risky side. So we'll do Halloween. All right. And then we'll, we'll show you what comes up. But yeah, there's tons of stuff like ideas, uh, costumes. I had a buddy that had a costume site, made a fortune with a costume site, uh, just sold costumes through like Amazon or something like that. Um, and it works really well. Again, you have to think about like, there are people out there. If you go to the Halloween store, I think they're hideous, but they have like these live action robots that you get that come out of the dirt or something and it's like 600 bucks. I'm like, I thought we were in a recession, but there's people paying $600 for like some Frankenstein that comes out of the grass. Guess we're not in that big a recession if you know you got 600 bucks to buy the old Frankenstein. But we could see here a lot of people looking up Halloween stuff. Uh, 488 keywords for that. Uh, you could even do like costume, um, all kinds of stuff. And the sky's the limit. And, and what the goal is, is to help you understand that as marketers, we're looking at this. And if you want to get to like $1,000 or $5,000 a month with Pinterest, you need to start looking at this in terms of how much traffic do you need to get that? All right, what do I need to do? If the remodel quote pays $100, well, I need 10 of those. If the lawn care one pays $23, then I take it and I say, okay, how many times does 23 go into 5,000? And I think it's about 200, I think. Is my math right? I don't know. I had a lot of coffee, so I got to double check my math. 23, yeah, it's about 4,600 bucks. So you need about 220 uh, leads there. And so you're like, okay, if I need 220 leads, if I get a lead every 25 or 50 clicks, how much traffic do I need? All right, basic, basic stuff. This is why we look at the earnings per click. What are you gonna make per click, per visitor? Um, and I did a video last week that was about um, earnings per click, or I think it might've been Monday's video. Um, but it's very simple to look at and you're like, okay, so I'm just gonna look at this objectively, pragmatically, where I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do? We got uh, barn dominium floor plans. Okay, I could sell barn dominium floor plans. That's something huge. Um, we got self-care quotes. I like that one because you could sell self-help books or um, get people into apps or whatever it is. Okay? Very cool. We got introvert, extrovert, self-care, Facebook. I did Facebook because I was like, okay, maybe I could get people that are interested in social media. Maybe you're like doing that social media marketer thing, SMMA, and you're like, okay, I need customers. Well, get all the people that are doing this stuff themselves looking for templates and be like, hey, you really wanna grow? Let me help you out. Um, very simple, and the way you do it is by uh, helping out with uh, cover uh, photos or whatever. Ab workouts, we got uh, push day workout, gift certificate template, we got uh, tornado warning versus watch. I was like, okay, what could I do with that? Well, there are weather toolbars that you could promote that pay like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars per download, or what if you were like, hey, tornado warning versus watch, Maybe y'all need to get yourself some tornado insurance. It's probably a good idea. If you're searching that, you're probably in one of them places that gets the tornadoes all the time. It's like, boom, there we go. Uh, craft table, you can sell craft tables. Uh, morning quotes, those are good ones. Uh, budgeting, meal ideas, schedule templates, um, earrings. I actually found out a lot of people were searching for earrings on Pinterest. And I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Again, if you want a copy of this list, um, when it's done, I'm going to get a thousand keywords. Right now, I'm at like 280. Uh, we're going to get like a thousand keywords. It's going to be over at theprofitscoop.com. Go there, click the link, get the report, check out the other tools. There's lots of good stuff. Uh, we have obituary examples. Okay, that, that can be an interesting one. Um, you can get them into, you know, insurance, uh, flowers, um, funeral costs, and all kinds of things like that. We have Weekly schedule template, that's a good one. Um, we got fax cover sheet template, resume template, temp resume sample. I will learn to talk correctly today. Uh, we got squishmallows. The squishmallows are following us everywhere, right? Very, very important to look at. Uh, we got tiny house plans. We got um, optimal keto, warning versus watch, quotes, meeting min uh, minutes, grocery list template, two weeks notice template, Amazon. I found a lot of things on Pinterest where it's like, hey, these are things I bought on Amazon, which is pretty cool. You can make a little pin. Here's 25 must-have things from Amazon. 
click here to download the list and see the products. Simple. What, what's happening here is Pinterest is kind of like a free ad, right? It's like, okay, I can post a free ad and they're gonna come over here and, and check this stuff out. Birdhouse plans, shirts, uh, weekly panner. And, and the cool thing about this is it's telling you what to make. There's other people out there that are like, oh, well, what you need to do is just make a bazillion t-shirts and hopefully one day someone's gonna want the t-shirt that you're selling. Eh, wrong. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make the ones people are telling us they wanna buy. That's what we're gonna do. And that's how it's gonna work. And everyone's gonna be happy or so I would think. I mean, obviously the results are not typical, implied or guaranteed. The average person trying to make money online makes nothing. Um, but you gotta look at this like a business and you gotta understand exactly what's going on. And what's going on is people are searching for this stuff over here. Um, cover photos, beaded earrings, offer letter. Okay, that's good. That's for like a house buying or an offer or something. Uh, Adirondack chair plans, uplifting mood quotes. And you can see here, this is the amount of searches per month. Uh, low cost DIY chicken coop. So I could literally go out there and build chicken coops, take pictures of them, make Pinterest of them, sell the plans, give away the plans, or be an affiliate of the plans. Pretty simple. Uh, for those that aren't that friendly with chickens, here's chicken dinner recipes, right? So you get like full circle. Show them how to make a coop and then how to eat the chicken. That's a little creepy sounding, but hey, there you go. Uh, we got uh, Claire's ear piercing costs. I thought that was an interesting one. Uh, maybe you could do like a Claire's coupon or something. Uh, concrete patio ideas on a budget, flower template, low cost fence designs, pole barn house plans. Um, and a lot of these, the cool thing about a lot of these is you're gonna get paid per lead. So you're like, okay, well, I'm gonna get paid when they fill out a form to get a quote on uh, pole barns or, or concrete patios or whatever it is. Screen porch ideas, 21 day uh, workout challenge. There's a good word, type challenge in there, see what Pinterest comes up for that. Uh, workout calendar, diabetic meal plan, uh, chore chart, bat house, Do people have a bat house? Uh, where you go? Uh, we got uh, all kinds of stuff, shirt folding board. I thought that was interesting. Like someone out there is making a living selling shirt folding boards. And I think the only time I ever saw a short shirt, a shirt folding board was on the Big Bang Theory. I was like, what is that thing? Why don't you just fold your shirt? I don't know. But at any rate, apparently some people need a, a shirt folding board. Uh, resume examples, resume templates, um, coloring books. I thought that was an interesting one. Uh, pool house ideas on a budget, recipe card, camper remodel, retirement sayings, iPhone size comparison chart. Okay, size comparison chart might bring up some interesting searches, but I think this one here, iPhone size comparison, it's probably someone looking for a new iPhone and they're wondering, oh, is the new one bigger? Is it smaller? That'd be a good one. It's got some money attached to it. I like that, right? Very, very, very important. Um, outfits, vegetable garden layout plans. I thought that was pretty good. Um, and you can find, like, if you go to ClickBank and you do um, garden plans or whatever, let's see if we can get in here. It makes me log in every five seconds. So we'll log back in and see what's going on here. Uh, so if I do garden on ClickBank, I can see all kinds of different gardening things, local organic garden, um, and you can see what they pay, $67 a sale, aquaponics, right? You can even go through and be like, okay, well, let's copy and paste it because I don't know how to spell aquaponics. Oh, we'll just copy it there. I am, in fact, the world's worst speller. Uh, but we'll go through and be like, okay, Pinterest, aquaponics, boom. Let's see if there's traffic show results and we got we wait and wait do a little dance wait some more and apparently we're just gonna maybe we'll just call this the waiting show um, so we'll go there Pierre says his wife has two shirt folding boards all right well there you go there's avid collectors check this out they are ranking for aquap aquaponics fish tank so there you go 20 uh, 2800 a month searching for that. And again, remember how I said pair these together? I actually bought um, a couple of fish tank sites last week and um, you can you can pair these. Like here's some of the domains and sites I buy. So we could go through and be like, okay, check this out. Freshwatercentral.com, 
uh, this is a domain and website I bought that we're going to be building out unless one of you guys wants to take it over. I do offer uh, some of my sites as high ticket niches like this one here. If you look at Freshwater Central, I could go through and see what it ranked for. Actually, I think it ranks currently. So we'll do Freshwater Central and you'll see why these are so valuable. And we're looking at it, we're like, okay, organic keywords. This is one where if I build this up, fish uh, for 40 gallon tank, we got rainbow fish, fish tank, this would be perfect. So like I could go through and I could take a look at these rankings, build it up, and now I have Freshwater Central. Now all I'm doing is going out there on the old uh, Pinterest and I'm just building stuff up about fish tanks and, and aquaponics and whatever it is, right? And I could pair those together or I could find a domain about aquaponics. I'm sure I have one. Um, and we pair these together and you're basically unstoppable. It's like, hey, what if I get traffic from Pinterest and use a domain that already gets ranking to point back at my Pinterest and then what's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen, is this is all gonna fuel itself. So I go out there and I'm like freshwatercentral.com. This is gonna link to my pins, which is gonna link back to my site, which is gonna link to my email list, which is gonna link to my images. And I'm gonna use that to send them new stuff. I'm gonna build my following. It's gonna be a big self-serving engine so that I can now make money. And if you start to understand how this works and you're like, wait a minute, so I could go out there and I could get glutenfreeways.com, build it up and, and do, uh, here's a Pinterest about gluten. There you go, pretty simple. Or um, this one's about workout or salary data. I sold that one yesterday, I need to take that one off. Um, or we could go out and do like student debt. Right, go out there and do all kinds of debt stuff or uh, whatever it is, lawn care company. Um, tons of stuff, soap, right? Here's one for goat soap. Um, you can even do that. Like there's probably people on Pinterest looking up soap, right? I don't know why, but they do. But you could see the idea here is like, okay, aquaponics, it leads to a ClickBank offer. All I got to do is build it out. Right now, is it going to be better if you get a domain name and build it out the right way? Of course it is. But can you do this? If you're just run of the mill guy and you're like, okay, I'm going to go out there. I'm gonna look at Pinterest for aquaponics. I'm gonna see what's out there and, and I'm gonna build this up. Yes, you can do that. Now, is it gonna take work? Are you gonna put one pin up and then make five grand tomorrow and every day for the rest of your life because you made one pin? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I would like to point you back to my disclaimer, which is no, you are not gonna get that. This takes work. You might have to make a lot of pins. Some of the pins might not do good. Some of them will do good. This is a business. The average person trying to make money online makes nothing. But I think if you understand how all this fits together, if you focus and you say, wait a minute, this is what Pinterest already works for. This is what's paying me. I link them together. I make a site. I build it out. Maybe I get one of your high ticket niches. Maybe I uh, join Blog Profit Network and learn how this works. I'm out there making this work based on what is working now. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the key is to understand this is already there. Whether you do this or not, right? Some people will make a comment and be like, well, Marcus, I don't know if this works. That's fine. This doesn't care if you believe if it works or not, because I know 1300 people a month search for DIY aquaponics. I also know that Pinterest ranks for that. Aquaponics versus hydroponics, 1300 searches a month. I know Pinterest ranks for it. It's not very good, which means, hey, bing, opportunity. I could probably nail that one. Aquaponics fish tank, they rank number seven. Aquaponics symptom. And we start to look at this and we're like, wait a minute, so I can just do something I know works? This is not guess marketing. It's not hope marketing. We're out there doing this because we know it works. And when you understand this, you're gonna be able to use the trigger word list, which you can get at theprofitscoop.com, along with this keyword list, which we'll go over a couple more. But you're gonna see, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, professional email format. It's people looking to write professional emails. Uh, Amazon wedding dresses. People looking to buy wedding dresses on Amazon, 3,600 of them each and every month, right? Um, stuff to buy on Amazon. Small deck ideas on a budget. Good thing I didn't say that wrong. Uh, small ideas on a budget, right? We're like, there you go. Uh, sober quotes, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, people are looking up sober quotes on Pinterest. Do you know how much money 
rehabs pay for leads? Again, ladies, gentlemen, do this ethically. Don't mess around, do it ethically, all right? But how many people are looking it up? And we go there and we're like, rehab, $825 for a two minute phone call. All right, so what do I do? I go out there and I build a following because I know that people are looking up sober quotes and bada bing, bada boom, I'm ready to go. Right, how many of you guys are getting this? Smash the like button, tell me, hey Marcus, this is good stuff if you think it's good stuff. Also, I got a question for you guys if you stick around to the end. I do need your opinion because I might sign off on it today. I'm not sure yet. Um, Ista says, how can I know if my specific low comp will rank in Google search? Put it up there, see if it ranks. If it doesn't, figure out how to make it rank. Plain and simple. If I don't rank for something, I'm like, okay, I'm going to repurpose this. Maybe I'll go to Pinterest and make a pin. Maybe I'll go to Facebook and make a Facebook. Maybe I'll go over here and make this. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work. Right? There's words that I can't get on my blog, I make videos about. There's words that uh, I can't get here, I'll get on Pinterest or whatever it is. Because at the end of the day, I don't care where the traffic come from, I just want it. Right? Very, very important. Uh, Mr. Creative says, please suggest one niche that will give me more views for my website. Well, you're thinking about it backwards. Okay? You need to find the niche and get the website for the niche. Right? Don't, don't force it. You don't want to put the, the square block in the round hole. You want to make it natural. All right? And when you use this, this works like a charm. Now, before I got that question I want to ask you, I want to show you the crazy Pinterest money methods. So what we're going to do here is method one. You could create pins and send them to affiliate offers. This would be like ClickBank, OfferVault, whatever. You wouldn't need a website, boom, you just do it. Number two, create pins and send traffic to arbitrage sites. Wait a minute, Mark, Marcus, what do you mean here? What, what, what are you talking about? Well, there is something in marketing online where you can increase the value of a click. All right, if I get someone clicking for mortgage calculator, there we go, that's an M. Mortgage calculator, that's probably worth about 30 cents per click. I know, because I buy traffic in that market. So 30 cents a click. All right, now, pretty good. So if I make a site or a Pinterest and I just put a bunch of mortgage calculators and talk about the different mortgages or whatever, I'm gonna get roughly 10 cents a click because I get a portion of that, okay? So I'd say we get like five cents, 10 cents a click. However, if I put them to a site about refi, refinance that ladies and gentlemen is like a $40 click okay and most I've ever made in that market was eight dollars per click I think that was my my all-time high for that site um, and in mortgages I, I did that I took them for mortgage calculator put them to uh, refinance quote and it worked really really well so I could make pins about a topic like mortgage calculator or um, maybe even one of those ones for like resignation letters right or, or or resumes and then I can lead them to the expensive thing which would be you know go to school to get a job or uh, refinance or whatever it is and if you understand how that works it's kind of like if I can teach you here's how to make a blog that's cheap okay I can make all kinds of videos about how to make a blog on WordPress and if I link them to a page about web hosting because they need web hosting to make their blog then I can make a lot so that would be where you take them from a Pinterest thing to an information site you want good info and then that that info site is gonna have the expensive ads on it okay number three we can create pins and sell t-shirts merchandise stuff like that um, number five there was one about a mailing list there we go number four was supposed to say mailing list but it went up a level I don't know I don't know what was going on with my notes today, but you could create pins and send them to a mailing list, right? So you have a mailing list of people looking at your gardening stuff. Now you have a big list of people interested in gardening. You could send them new pins. You could send them links to your blogs. You could send them affiliate offers, all kinds of stuff. Number five, you can create pins and then send traffic to your blog. This I like because I can do all the other stuff with number five, all right? And you can learn how to do that at theprofitscoop.com. You could start a blog at gohubsite.com. Super simple. Number six, which is my recommendation, is to do all of the above and repurpose your content. All right? I can make an infographic. I can put it on Pinterest. I can put it on my site. I can put it on my blog. I can put it and make a video out of it. 
And if you start to repurpose stuff and you start to look at this in a real world way, then you'll start to understand, hey, wait a minute, that's why Marcus gets these domains. Because I'm out there and I'm like, okay, Freshwater Central, I can make a fish tank one. And I can do the Pinterest angle and I can do the other stuff because at the end of the day, that site had like, I think 2000 rankings, right? We did this, uh, one of my recent customers that got one of these sites was, what was it? It was a dog site, dog allergy, um, dog allergy advisor. And she's out there, she's just following the plan. Uh, she was new, she wasn't like an SEO ninja, if there was an SEO ninja, um, but check it out. Even with all the crazy talk about stuff going on, she's got lots and lots of traffic, um, kefir for dogs, all kinds of, these are all the rankings she has. Most of them are, are top 10, uh, which is pretty cool. And I think she's got, it's pretty new. She's like a month out on it. Um, but yeah, so she's got some organic, uh, 722 organic keywords. That's pretty darn good, right? And, and now, if she was to do Pinterest stuff, right? It's like, get a picture of a kefir lime. And if it's bad for dogs, you say, dogs, no. Uh, you know, you get a picture of rice and you're like, birds, no. And I know birds shouldn't eat rice. They used to throw it at weddings and the birds didn't fare too well with the rice. But you start to understand how it works. And you start to understand, hey guys, I'm gonna do this in an ethical, good way where I can help people out. I'll, I'll, I'll be the best dog allergy finder ever. I'll be the best workout finder. I'll be the best fish tank person or whatever it is. And if you want to make like $5,000 a month or so, you break it down and you're like, okay, what's five grand a month? Well, it's about $160 a day. Boom, there we go, right? And you start to understand exactly how this works. Now, again, if you want to get this keyword list when I'm done with it, theprofitscoop.com over at theprofitscoop.com. I got tons of tools for you. You just click this link to get the keyword report and then you can check out the other tools and stuff like that, uh, which is really cool. So now, quick question for those of you that are part of my end crew, the people who watch my videos to the end. Um, I'm actually debating getting a local storefront office where we can make videos and possibly have uh, collaborations and all kinds of things like that. Our, our high ticket niche bootcamp people can come for trainings uh, when we have them available, stuff like that. So I need your opinion. It's kind of expensive. Is that a good idea or is that a bad idea? Is that something you'd be interested in um, learning in like a classroom setting? Because it's actually the one I looked at. It's like a full on classroom setting, which could be pretty good. So if you guys think it's a good idea, type go office or good office or something. If you think it's a bad idea, type bad idea. Uh, the cool thing is it's, it's pretty close to home, which is good. So we start to look at that. We start to understand what's going on. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this training about Pinterest. Smash the like button, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.